So today, I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of your terminal right here. So in the last video, I showed you, if you watched the last video, hopefully you have terminal on your desktop. But if not, just like last time, go into Spotlight, search up terminal, and then if it's when you search up terminal just press enter and right here it'll open up so what I d now if you close so if you go into I'm gonna show you one of two ways to change the color so the first way is by clicking shell Go to new window, but don't click it. Go down. I have pro as default, but you will have basic as default. And I'll show you how to set the default in another video. So, what you want to do to get it green and black is click homebrew. And then it opens this. So, it's green and black. But the other way is to go in terminal preferences and then you change the text to whatever color you want uh, change the cursor uh, you can choose blinking block underline vertical and then you can change the window you can change the window color to I chose black and so that's how you do it and then what most people use this for is doing a matrix command that makes it look like the matrix looks like you're cracking the code so what that command is while space open parentheses and for you those of you who not know what a parenthesis is, it's the curve, so it's open parentheses is shift 9, and close parentheses is shift 0, and then you type true, sorry, with no capitals, and then close parentheses, so shift 0, space, and do. What that means is it'll just keep doing whatever command you put in. Then you want to put echo, so E-C-H-O, space dash n space space uh quote a bunch of random numbers like that uh quote semicolon space done and then as soon as you press enter it'll do this and then to full screen it just press the plus and this is what it looks like. And it doesn't look the same as the matrix, but it looks close. It's the closest thing you can get on terminal. And then to stop it, just press Control C. It may take a while. There we go. Now it stopped. So that was my tutorial on how to change the color and do a matrix effect in terminal. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you all next time. Bye.